Hi everyone, it's Miss Lori from Indian Trails Library. Welcome back to Magical Mystery Reader. Once a month, we invite you to join us to listen to a great read aloud story and try to guess who our mystery reader is. Mm, you might guess this one this time. We'll see. If you were able to pick up a bag of materials, you should bring it out now because this might help you guess what the story is, what book will be read today. If you didn't get a bag, that's okay too. You will still enjoy the program. So now, here's our story. Truman by Jean Reedy, illustrated by Lucy Ruth Cummins. Published by Athenium Books for Young Readers. Truman was small, the size of a donut, a small donut, and every bit as sweet. He lived with his Sarah, high above honking taxis and growling trash trucks and shrieking cars and the number 11 bus, which traveled south. Truman never honked or growled or shrieked at anything or anybody. He was peaceful and pensive, just like his Sarah. One day, Sarah ate a big banana with her breakfast, clipped a blue bow in her hair, and buttoned up a brand new sweater. She strapped on a backpack so big, 32 small tortoises could ride along in it. But zero tortoises did. Sarah placed seven green beans in Truman's dish, two more than usual. She kissed her finger and touched it to his shell and whispered, be brave. Then she left. Not to worry, she'd left before and she'd always return, but this time that backpack was particularly big and Sarah looked particularly pensive. And that banana and that bow and let's not forget about those extra beans. That's when Truman saw something he'd never seen before. Sarah boarding the number 11 bus going south. The bus roared away. Truman waited for Sarah to return. He waited and waited. He waited a thousand hours, tortoise hours that is, until he could wait no longer. He would go after his Sarah. He would catch the number 11 south, even amid the honking and the growling and the shrieking, even if it seemed impossible. Bonk. That's when he noticed the rocks, three rocks that had always been there. Ordinary rocks that now seemed extraordinary. And the arm of the couch and the pillow plopped just right. And that tall, tall boot and the rug that glorious, endless rug. Without Sarah, their home seemed vast and uncharted and unsettling. Truly unsettling. But perhaps most unsettling was that Truman could no longer see the taxis, or the trash trucks, or the cars, or the number 11 bus. 
Which way was south anyway? Now the sun hung low, like Truman's head and heart. Just then, and then, oh, screech, whish. Up floors and under doors, Truman heard it, a bus. It was time, time to catch the number 11 South amid the honking and the growling and the shrieking. Yet standing there in that ray of light, Truman felt peaceful and pensive and brave. But just as he was about to slip under the door, through the opening, barely the size of a small tortoise, spotted him, shining like the sun. Truman, she cried. She scooped him up and said things like, oh my goodness, and you, and how did you ever, and amazing. Sarah kissed her finger and touched it to his shell and tucked him back safely where he was peaceful and pensive and proud. And later, just before bedtime, she read him a story. Now Truman knew that one day soon, he and his Sarah might travel south to see new sights and hear new so sounds and think new thoughts. Together. The end. Hi, it's Miss Jennifer, and I was your mystery reader. Did you guess that it was me? You may have seen me at the kids' desk, answering questions, helping you find a book, registering you for a program. You may have also seen me at your school on a school visit or on a video school visit. I get to do lots of fun things at the Indian Trails Library. I'm a youth services librarian here and I get to do all those wonderful things like work at the reference desk and visit with kids at school. I also get to put on programs and I also get to purchase all of the picture books. So I get to choose books just like the book Truman that we read. Now I chose that book because it reminded me of the two puppies that I have. And I wonder when I go to work during the day and I leave the house, what are they thinking? Are they, are they wondering where did their mommy go? I bet they are. And I bet, just like Truman, they're trying to figure out where I am. Just like Truman was trying to figure out where did his Sarah go? Now, at the end of the day, I always come home to my puppies and my family. And just like our book, Sarah always comes home to her Truman, whom she loves so very much. So I hope you enjoyed our story today. Thanks for reading with me. Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the book, Truman. I have it right here. It's such a good book, one of my favorites. Did you guess who our mystery reader was today? Did you guess it was Miss Jennifer from the Youth Services Department? Miss Jennifer is a librarian here and she orders books and she works the reference desk so I was wondering if you could guess who it was, because you may have seen Miss Jennifer at the reference desk or in a program, maybe you've seen her. So Miss Jennifer does a lot for our library, and we sure do appreciate everything she does. And I'm so glad that she read the book Truman to you today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you join us next time for the next Magical Mystery Reader. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.